you've been extremely unprofessional with me. What are you gonna do? Jump me? Yeah, we're gonna have to do that some other time, Dave. I'm running interviews all day today. Excuse me, I'm looking for Phil's office? Uh, Uber Eats, yeah, just uh, get the food and put it on that counter over there for me, would you? Um, no, I'm not Uber Eats. I'm actually here for the job interview. They told me to come down the hall to Phil's office. Wait, you're here for the job interview? What's your name again? Anthony. You can call me AJ. I'm gonna have to call you back. You're here early. Um, you're not supposed to show up for another 30 minutes. Well, if you'd like, sir, I could sit in the hall and come back. Now, let's just get this over with. Um, Anthony Boucher, is this you? Yes, sir. I remember emailing you to come in. Uh, with that last name, I could have sworn you were a... Uh... White? Yeah. Yeah, I get that a lot, actually. Um, my mom remarried and I uh, ended up taking my stepdad's last name, so... Interesting. Okay, okay. Um... Hey, do you have any felonies, warrants I should know about? Felonies? <laughs> no way. Oh wait, you guys check for that here, huh? <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, sir, nothing like that. Okay, uh, well tell me a little bit about your uh, work history. Have you ever uh, had a real job? Yes, I have. Uh, I started off as a free intern at Tesla, where I quickly moved up to tech management all through college uh, as I went on to get my master's degree from Rice University. Rice University? It's pretty impressive. How'd you get in? Basketball scholarship or something like that? Um, no, sir. Well, let me guess. Affirmative action gets you in. Excuse me? Hey, just kidding with you. Dog. A uh, little office joke I like to throw around. So, AJ, tell me why you want this job. You know, why should I hire you? Well, sir, to be honest, um, I've had other offers at bigger companies, but I read an article about the CEO's mission statement and how he helps impoverished nations, and I knew I wanted to be a part of his team. Not to mention I'm the breadwinner in my household. You see, my dad passed away a few years ago from cancer, and, uh, had to learn to take care of my mom and my younger siblings. Hey, Jay, um, yeah, that all sounds good and everything, but um, yeah, the position has been filled, so uh, we're gonna have to cut this interview short. Filled? Like, what do you mean? I, I thought I was the first one here. Uh, yeah, but the position has been filled. I'm not sure I understand. Hey, come on, let's not do this. You're just not the kind of guy we're looking for here at Neil. Like, what is that supposed to mean? You know, I've been, I've been very patient with you throughout this interview, but you've been extremely unprofessional with me. What are you gonna do? Jump me? Hey, 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 I heard we have this hot shot coming in from Texas. Rice University, you know that's my alma mater? Nice to meet you, I'm Louis. Louis Mercado, CEO of NEO. Yes, I know who you are. I've read all about you and your story. You've done your research, huh? Well, I've read about you too, AJ. I wanted to come down here firsthand and meet you and welcome you to the team. Sir, I'm, I'm honored. What position is he coming in for today? Let's see here, data entry level. A guy with your talent needs to be put in a position where he can really shine. I'm bumping you to marketing executive. Wait, what? Uh, sir, I thought I was in the running for that position. Well, you were, until he showed up. Don't worry, there's a lot you can learn from this young man. He's gonna help this entire company shine. Well, gentlemen, I'll leave you two to get acquainted. Phil, meet your new boss. You see this box? Let me guess, you want me to put my stuff in it? You're gonna fire me, huh? No. 
I'd like you to gather a list of ideas we can do as a team to help us land our next big account. See, I'm not like you, Phil. I have nothing against you. I think you hate people like me and you expect me to hate back. But darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Gather the team. And let's put together a meeting by the end of today. Hey, AJ. Thanks. No problem, dog. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. This is one of my favorite quotes from Dr. Martin Luther King. You see, if AJ had fired Phil, it wouldn't have changed a thing. Phil would still go home hating what he doesn't understand. If anything, it'd make things worse. Instead, AJ chose love as his way to drive out hate. I would challenge you that the next time someone shows hatred towards you, that you respond back with compassion. You'd be surprised at how quick you could change someone's opinion about you when you don't attack them back. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.